Here's a question I've been asking myself. Why would I spend several hundred dollars on a Steam Deck when at the time I didn't even have a single game in my Steam library? I mean, sure, it's great for emulation, which is what I told myself, but it's a little overkill, especially when I already have a Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, an Ambernic 351M, a dedicated Raspberry Pi, and tons of peripherals. Why do I keep buying all this stuff? Is it an addiction? Is it fear of missing out? Unfettered capitalism? I'm sure that those are all factors, but there's actually something much simpler behind it all. The Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda. A never-ending adventure new for your Nintendo Entertainment System. Zelda! It was the year of our Lord, 1988. My brother and I excitedly open our presents, and one from my grandmother is shaped conspicuously like an NES game. But this one isn't like the others. Instead of the flat gray plastic, this one is shiny and gold. It felt special, and it was. Nothing in my life up to that point had ever captured my imagination so completely. I remember drawing Octorox and Pole's voice in the margins of my notebooks at school. And then, just as suddenly as the magic started, it was ripped away from me. You see, something else was happening in the 1980s. The Satanic Panic. The devil was coming for the youth of America, and he was using video games, music, and movies to get to them. This is the teaching of the occult. This is exactly what we were introduced into in Star Wars and E.T. I remember going to the store to return the game and exchange it for a baseball bat and a rubber softball. On the very first pitch, my brother hit a line drive directly into my testicles. As I lay on the ground writhing in pain, I thought about how my friends were all happily at home exploring the dungeons of Hyrule. I didn't play a Zelda game again for years but it was always there in the back of my mind. And so it was that I finally went back to scratch that itch and finally beat The Legend of Zelda 30 years after I first started it. And I didn't stop there. I decided to beat every Zelda game. Take that, Mom and Dad. I started my quest by loading up my ROMs on an R4 flash cart on my DS and also hacking my Wii to play homebrew emulators. That got me through the 8-bit and 16-bit generations, but to play the Minish Cap, I would need better hardware. So, I bought an Ambernic device. This got me up through the Ocarina of Time, but once again, I started butting up against the limits of the hardware. So, I upgraded to a Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, which just barely got me through Wind Waker. For the Wii games, like Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, I actually bought the games, but playing it on a Wii just sort of sucked. I wanted something more portable and without the motion controls, which is what brought me to the Steam Deck. Dear Nintendo, if you're listening, I'm happy to announce that I am now compliant and playing legit games on official hardware. I even went back and bought the games that I emulated too. So maybe keep that in mind when you go after the emulation community. It isn't just piracy, it actually got some money in your grubby hands. A little update for anybody who was worried. Even after over 20 Zelda games, the devil never actually got my soul. Being a data nerd, I even kept an Excel sheet while I was doing this, and look here. No demon possessions! Though, I haven't played Wand of Gamelon yet. That could be the one that gets me. You dare bring light to my lair? You must die! <laughs>